I, I was very fortunate in uh, where I grew up in Connecticut. Um, I grew up along or near the Quinnipiac River, and that was um, a natural area. But when I was a kid, I soon discovered, because I would play in the, uh, along the river and in the streams all the time, much to the uh, chagrin of my mother when I would come home with mud all over me, and oftentimes with little animals. But I soon discovered uh, salamanders and frogs and snakes, which initially I was afraid of, but uh, turtles, we had a lot of different types of turtles, and um, I uh, got fascinated by that to the point where I would actually go to the public library or the school library and look up books to find out what kind of salamanders or frogs. And I actually decided uh, in my own mind what I was, what I was finding. And uh, um, that truly was the beginning of how I got interested in natural history. My undergraduate school, I, I went to, um, at the University of Connecticut and I was majoring in wildlife biology at that time. Uh, the single course that turned me on the most was herpetology. And the professor that I had was um, a natural born inspiring person. And that also provided me with an opportunity to do an independent study on northern copperheads in Connecticut. I thought that was ideal. I could go out, literally play in the woods and get, and get credit for it. I really, really got fascinated with the idea that you could actually go out and do studies of animals and learn stuff about animals. And at that time, I must admit, I thought that, well, you know, scientists know everything about all the animals. And there's nothing left to learn. And I actually remember learning stuff about copperheads that wasn't available in the literature.